Welcome back everyone to another video. Now Microsoft recently launched their Windows 10 Creators update which brings uh, pretty interesting stuff to the Windows 10 desktop and mobile phone environment. But along with that they also introduced a new build for the Windows 10 IoT Core which enables Cortana. And in this video we are going to use that to create a Cortana based personal assistant uh, like a Google Home or Amazon Alexa that sits at the center of your room or uh, anywhere else in your home and acts as a voice uh, assistant. So let's get started. So first of all you'll need to go ahead and have a few things in hand. That, that includes a Raspberry Pi 3 uh, or a Raspberry Pi 2, a keyboard and mouse, uh, a display, uh, an internet connection so that could be Wi-Fi or Ethernet, um, a speaker now that could also be a 3.5 mm audio jack that you plug into the raspberry pi or a usb type speaker i don't think bluetooth speakers work so i i not go for them use a usb speaker or a normal 3.5 uh, audio jack speaker and a usb mic so the raspberry pi doesn't have any audio in input uh, jack so any mic uh 3.5 mm mic jack inbuilt so you would need a usb mic now these do include a bunch of uh, cardioid mics uh, like the one i'm using uh to record this very video or something like a usb webcam that has a mic inbuilt that will also work and that is what i'm going to use so i have my logitech c20 webcam that has a mic inbuilt and it operates through the USB port. So that is also going to work. Apart from that, you would also need an SD card. I would recommend a class 10 and at least eight gigabytes of SD card. Once you have all of that, what you need to do is go to the website I'm on right now. I'll leave the link in the description. This is the homepage for Windows 10 IoT Core. And what we are going to do, go into the download section that would redirect you to the download section and get the download the uh, windows 10 iot core dashboard which would allow us to set up our sd card with the operating system so once you are, you are done that now i have already installed this software i'm not going to do it again but it should be a few simple clicks and a couple of minutes to install once you are done with that go ahead and open that up so a uh, simple windows 10 iot core wait for it to open uh, and this is something that it should look like now uh, for some reason it is cutting off but anyway, this is roughly what it should look like. Once that is up and running, go to the uh, option where it says set up a new device. Click on that. It will go there in a few seconds. Now this is the time you want to insert your SD card into your SD card reader or into your PC uh, if uh, that is inbuilt. And once that is done, uh, wait for a few sec seconds to detect. And the following things uh, will not be automatically filled up for you now i have set it up a few times so it kind of knows what i'm going to do but uh you should select raspberry pi and raspberry pi 3 uh the thing is i really wanted the raspberry pi 0w to have support for this because that does look like a iot kind of a device uh, has default wi-fi support and also can fit pretty much anywhere so you can make a small uh, physical speaker uh, or uh, alexa kind of a device out of it but at the moment we are limited to raspberry pi 2 and raspberry pi 3 now in the os build section do remember to select 15063 or greater and do not select the windows inside a preview now the windows inside a preview also has these uh, feature but uh, i cannot guarantee that it will work the last time it tri I tried it, it was very, very buggy. So I'd recommend you stay away from that. And also for Windows Insider Preview, you need to sign up and go through that Windows Insider uh, sign up process. So I would not recommend that stay with the uh, stable build of uh, Windows 10 IoT Core 15063 and that should do you good. Now you can select any other device name. I usually leave it on default. Now. Um, if you are going to set a multiple of these, I would recommend changing the device name. Do double check that the right uh, flash drive is selected for the SD card. Uh, do double check that because it is going to 
uh, format the whole SD card and you lose all your data. Enter an admin password, you would not need it uh, during the whole process because it's pretty much hands free. Uh, but uh, th this is just for administration purposes and so that uh, not anyone can log into your device. So I just keep it simple. And once that is done, accept the license terms and agreements because uh, this is not an open source software and click download and install. It will give you a warning that it is going to erase the whole SD card. But uh, as I said, that has to be done. Now for me, the flashing process directly starts up. But if you are uh, doing it for the first time, it will take some time to download the IoT core. It, the download is around one gigabyte and uh it would uh, depend on uh, how w or on how good your internet connection is and that's the amount of time uh, it is going to need to uh, install everything now first it starts with the unpacking then in a few seconds you would see a command line terminal open up you will have to do nothing it will just uh, start to write on the sd card and that should be it so I'll get back to you once that is done. Alright, so the flashing process is done. You would see something like uh, you need to format the disk and all of that stuff. So you need to ignore that and simply uh, cancel that out. Uh, once that is done, you can finally go ahead and remove your SD card from your device and plug it on to your Raspberry Pi. So let's see how that goes. Alright, so before I go ahead and show you guys uh, the actual working of all of this, uh, I want to show you my setup. So I have a Raspberry Pi 3. I have the audio jack plugged into my main speakers. I have the uh, HDMI port going to my monitor and Ethernet. Uh, then this happens to be my keyboard and mouse on the uh, USB hub and of course my uh, mic and that is this uh, USB webcam that has the mic built in. So I think pretty much any USB mic will work, uh, any generic one that doesn't require a driver uh, and that should be good to go. So let's go ahead and check out how this looks on the display and we'll see how to set up things. <laughs> Okay, so this is sort of the third or the fourth time I'm trying this out. Uh, now it did work the first time I uh, tried it out off camera just to test uh, whether it would actually work or not. And since then it has uh, been giving me blue screens one after the other uh, four times now. And um, let's just see if this works. So this is uh, pretty much how it looks while it's booting up like any other Windows 10 desktop build and uh, once it's done booting it will give us a few options to set up the device mostly click next and that kind of deal and once it is at uh, uh, the cortana option i'll be back and we'll see what uh, we have to do from there and continue on with the setup so let's wait for it to finish and hopefully it won't uh, blue screen this time uh, and Let's wait and see what happens. Okay, so it uh, it has started the setup process and here is your language setup, uh, set up to whatever you want. But I don't think Cortana works on anything other than United States English. So that is what I'm going to keep it and click next. And it should probably start detecting what uh, network we have. 
uh, and for some reason right now it is not uh, detecting any uh, direct connection or the Wi-Fi hardware or uh, the LAN that I have connected and it didn't act like that the last time it automatically did detect everything else um, so let's get go ahead with uh, okay so it finally decided to <laughs> detect the LAN and let's go ahead with it and uh, skip because we don't have to connect to Wi-Fi as I am already on my uh, LAN network now once we are here uh, it is going to take some time and finally pop up with the uh, option for Cortana uh, so let's wait and see what happens alright so here is the pop-up for Cortana uh, and just click sure it will now ask you for your login and click sign in it will redirect you to the login page and wait for that and it should be done in a few seconds Alright, so it seems to be logging. Let's go ahead and test it out. Make sure that my speaker volume is enough so that you guys can hear me or uh, hear Cortana. And uh, let's try it out. Hey, Cortana. So, uh, what usually happens is for the very first time, it takes a few seconds to actually, uh, you know, set things up. And after that, it should work pretty well. Hey, Cortana, play movie game. Can you guess the movie I've got in mind? Clue number one What movie do you think of when you hear this list? A former detective, a fear of heights. A distraught woman and a bell tower. Next clue. Clue number two. Does this sound familiar? A mystery revised. A master remember. 1996 restored film premiere. See the answer. I was thinking of Vertigo. Do you want to play again? No. Thanks for playing. Next time, you can say play movie game. Hey Cortana. How's the weather today? shows sun with a high of 38 and a low of 23. Hey Cordana. What is the capital of India? Hey Cordana. I'm not sure. What is the capital of India? Hey Cortana, the capital of India is New Delhi. Alright, so with that, I'll bring this video to an end. Now, this uh, Cortana is not very uh, accurate at reading. Uh, at understanding and uh, I mean none of the AIs there are currently are that accurate but it also depends on the quality of your microphone this particular webcam doesn't have a very good quality and I really have to bring it close to my ma mouth uh, to speak something and for Cortana to understand it now uh, with a better microphone this can be made much much better now i did find that my raspberry pi cp was getting extremely hot to touch so i had to uh, put back the fan i had removed it i thought it wouldn't utilize that much of uh, processing power but it seems to be and the cpu seems to be running hot so i've put on the fan again and uh, that seems to have 
solved a few problems that I was having with Cortana not really uh, you know recognizing or faulting out in between it uh, started to work a bit more stable so by no means this is the perfect solution for like an in-home uh, assistant and a virtual assistant but this thing should work it tells the it does your searches but those are pretty much Bing searches so not really useful apart from that it does work and it works pretty well it works better than have the, uh, the other solutions that I've seen something like Alexa now my biggest issue with Alexa is that you have to have a developer account with Amazon and you cannot directly log into your Amazon account and start using Alexa on the Raspberry Pi of course with the uh, Echo pro line of products you can directly use it you don't have to have a developer account but with something like uh, you know running Alexa on the Raspberry Pi you need to have a developer account but Windows 10 on IoT if you want a virtual assistant that bad you can actually install it without requiring a separate account uh, for being a developer you can log in with your Windows uh, live ID and that should be it so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one uh, till then make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you all thanks for watching